On the 31st of January 2019, what started out as a normal electoral process, a by-election occasioned by the death of the late member of parliament for the Ayawaso West Wagon constituency, Emmanuel Ejakun, would go down in history as one of the most violent electoral exercises in the country, leaving the name of the school, the La Baoleshi Presbyterian Basic One School, in the minds of Ghanaians for a very long time. Now, following the incident, a commission of inquiry led by Justice Emil Short was set up by government to look into the events of that day. The commission recommended that government pays compensation to uh, victims of the Ayawaso West Wagong by election violence. One of such victims is Ishao Yaru, who is actually still on admission at the 37 military hospital. We're going to speak to his spokesman, uh, Ibrahim Musa. How is Ishao? Yaru is well. To some other stories now, President Tekufado's assertion that the deportation of suspected Chinese illegal mining Kimpin, Aisha Wan, was a mistake, has ruffled feathers with many condemning and accusing him of dishonesty. Whereas others have praised him for being humble enough to accept that the decision was wrong, others say the confession is an embarrassment to the president, especially when some of his appointees had given other reasons to justify the action. Arocha Ghana, an environmental conservation organization, says the president's comment is unfortunate. Its deputy executive director, Daryl Bosu, says this is an affront to the fight against illegal mining. This comment coming on the back of all that has happened, we think is, is very bad. I mean, I mean some, some, some other time if you ask me, I will have said, good, it's a bold decision by the president to admit a mistake. But the question is, this is something you cannot correct. And already, you've cast a very bad slay on the Galamse fight. Let's now move to the Upper West region, where a downpour at Tumu and its environs has washed off portions of the Watumu Bolgatanga Road near Dimajan in the Sisala East Municipality. The major road which links the Upper West region to the Upper East has thus been cut off, leaving dozens of commuters stranded. Some portions of the road have already given up to the rains, compelling drivers and passengers to go through these potholes that can best be described as manholes before they can get to their destinations. 32-year-old Mohamed Amin has been driving on the road for the past five years. I've been moving this road the past five years now. This road, we are suffering about it because of this road. Every day, when you go to Tumay and come back, you have to work on your car. Deputy Upper West Regional Minister Isaku Amidu Chinia visited the stranded passengers and promised that immediate action would be taken to address the situation. Highway Authority have some machines which are currently working well in Bele, and they've been directed to re immediately relocate to the, the site so that they can fix the road so that passengers can use the road. Just when Ghana is yet to deal with the emergence of polio cases, Paramedics and health experts have confirmed the outbreak of scabies. Community members first associated the disease with myths and superstition. There is currently no drug in stock for the treatment of the skin disease, but efforts are underway to contain it. Scabies is one of several skin conditions that can cause itching and rashes. It is a dermatologic condition caused by Psychoptis scabie, an eight-legged microscopic mite. Scabies is contagious and can spread very easily from person to person through close physical contact. This makes an outbreak likely in settings such as the family home, child care group, school classes, nursing home, or prison. However, it can affect people of all ages, whatever their living situation and socioeconomic status. If an individual has scabies, they and anyone they have close contact with must all be treated at the same time. The outbreak in Ghana's northeast region was first reported at Dagbribuari and has since reached 16 other communities in the past four months. The disease, which took the people here by surprise, was first noticed four months ago and most households have since been affected. 
the fears of residents have further deepened as new trees have started to wither. The community initially linked the condition to superstition. <laughs> Another side of the community blames the disease on the invasion of strange insects. And this, like this, like me, if I or my brothers, Mr. Sule, if he stand here or he sit that place, he can dry like this tree because the powerful is more than condemned. So that is why we are not able to be sitting there. But it has been confirmed by health experts to be scabies. After samples were examined, the team on the ground who confirmed the disease to City News, however, declined to speak on camera. The Northeast Regional Minister Solomon Boar spoke to City News. I want to assure every Tom Dick and Harry that there's no cause for alarm. This is uh, our investigations on the floor has revealed that uh, this is scabies. Ghana's biggest corporate fan games, the City Business Olympics, started with an aerobic session to warm up the participants for the day's activities. The over 30 companies were all poised for victory with a simple mission to topple defending champions JCB Bank. Not long after, the activities for the day kicked off. After hours of intense competition, the men were gradually being separated from the boys. So we're here with GCB, the overall winners of City Business Olympics 2019. How many trophies do you have? Four. Wow. You guys have done amazing. Did you anticipate this win? In fact, we, we, we thought we were going to win more. Yes. So four is great, right? You said it's what? Four is great. No, four is great, but five could have been greater. 